So by now, most of you have probably heard of the brand Wolf, and rightly so. Over the last couple of years, they've brought out some really good products. One of my favorite is the Xpod, and they've actually got a new one of them coming out soon, which we have just filmed a video, so that will be out shortly. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled on that one. But now they have turned their attention to bite alarms, and these are the Icon bite alarms. And I think it's quite a fitter name because when you look at them, obviously they are quite an icon. Basically, there's two models in the range to start with. You've got this one in my hand, which is the Q, and you've got the QI, which is the more feature-packed version. This is still obviously packed full of features, but the QI has got a few different features, which we'll go into in a bit more depth. One of the first things you'll notice between the two different models is that the Q has three dials on the front and the QI has four. So let's have a look at the five main points of these alarms and why they are a really good bit of kit. So one of the first points worth mentioning, which I think is a really important point, is that the alarms and the receiver are all made in the UK. So that's a massive edge when it comes to quality control. You're not having massive shipments coming over from China where they haven't been tested properly. All of these have been made on home soil. And not only does it help with quality control, if you do have any issues, obviously there's a UK base. It's nice and easy to get in contact. So it just makes, it makes things so much easier and so much more reliable. You know you've got that peace of mind that if anything does go wrong, it's gonna be a nice quick turnaround to get it all sorted. The other nice thing about these as well is that they do actually come with a three year warranty. So it's not like one of them cheaper products that you get that have been shipped over, you get a year's guarantee on them. And as soon as that year's up, they end up failing you. So Wolf obviously have confidence in their products to give you a three year warranty. And the other thing as well, if you do register them online, you actually get an additional year. So to get a four year warranty with a set of bite alarms and receiver is almost unheard of these days. So point number two is that these alarms obviously are packed full of features. There's so many different tweaks you can make to them. To start with, you've got a thousand hour battery life on standby mode, so it's gonna last you a good season, if not longer, depending how much you fish, obviously. There's different sensitivity, volume, tone controls, and on, on this QI version, there's actually vibration sensitivity control as well. So not only have you got a roller wheel, you've also got vibration sensor. So the combination between the two means that you can really, really refine how sensitive you want these alarms. Going through a few more of the features, you've got adjustable LEDs, you've got mute modes, you've got drop back differentiation, and that's only touching the surface. So it shows just how advanced these alarms actually are. So going into a little bit more detail about the front of the alarms and the different features that they offer, like I say, this QI version of the Icon has actually got four different dials. So on the right hand side, you've got here the volume and you've got the tone. Now the volume dial is a smooth dial. So it's not like it has different settings or different increments. You can literally go from pretty low, well, very low. So quite a quiet volume all the way up to a very loud volume. And again, with the tones, I'll just turn that volume down again. Uh, it, again, like I say, with the tones, it's the same sort of dial as a volume where it's not set increments. It's not like you click into different tones. It's just a smooth dial. So again, you can have a really, really low tone all the way up to a really high pitched tone. So loads of options, everything in between on both the volume and the tones as well. I'll just turn that down. And then on the right hand, on the left hand side, sorry, you've got the two different sensitivity methods. So the top dial is for the roller wheel sensitivity. So your, your more standard sensitivity. So you, again, this one, this is slightly different. So you do click between the different sensitivity levels. And I believe there's eight to choose from. So you can have next to no sensitivity, which takes 100, 100 mil of line to go through before it beeps, like so or you can crank it right up to be super sensitive where it's only two millimeters of line. Moving down to the second dial, this is for the vibration detection. So again, you can completely change sensitivity. This is a much smoother dial. So again, there's no set increments on the, on the vibration sensor. But again, if you crack it right up, then you can see just how sensitive it is. Um, basically, the alarm is clever enough to pick up whether you need to use the roller wheel or the vibration. It's not something that you choose yourself. It, so again, you wanna, you wanna make sure you use that sense or you set the sensitivity to your fishing situation and then the alarm will do the rest of the work for you. 
So point number three is about this receiver. Now this is a super long range receiver and we definitely don't condone being this far away from your rods, but by telling you the distance, it shows you how powerful the signal actually is between the alarms and the receiver. Now this has a distance of two kilometers. Like I say, we would never condone being two kilometers away from your rods, but if you have got loads of trees, if you're in a really heavily wooded area and you're in the swim next door with a mate having a cup of tea or something like that, then you know this isn't gonna fail you. This will easily pick up the signal no matter how wooded the area is around you. Now, another few, or touching on a few other things of the receiver is you'll see at the top here, that there are six LEDs. So that means that this can actually interact or it can take signal from six different bite alarms. So if you go fishing with a, a friend all the time or a specific parent or one of your children, then you can easily have three rods out each and just have the one receiver between you. Now, the other thing about these LEDs as well is they can actually be used as a super bright torch. So if it's for looking around for something in your bivvy and you've got your receiver close to hand, you can just click it on, have a look, and then click it back off. Now, the other thing about this is the standby time on these. So it takes four AAA batteries and they last for up to 500 hours. So again, just like the alarms, you get loads of, loads of actual rod hours with this, this setup. So you're not gonna be failed at any point. So the other nice thing on the back of this receiver as well is you've actually got a built-in stand. So that just clicks into place. So you haven't got to worry about having separate stands or anything like that. It will just simply click into place and then sit on your bivvy table or wherever you like to put your, your receiver. So again, just like the alarms, it's a really nice refined all-rounded product, which is packed full of features as much as you could possibly want from it. So point number four, it kind of links in with the previous point as we're sticking with all the features of the actual hub receiver itself. So like I said, obviously it's got the impressive range and it's got the impressive lighting display at the top where you can use it for different alarms or for an actual light itself, but it's also got plenty of other features when you turn it on. So on the front, you will see you've got a digital display here and not only does this tell you exactly what's happening with your alarms, it also keeps a log and a history of what has happened previously. So. If you've had a liner on one alarm and you, you forget what alarm it might have been, you can literally cycle through your different alarms and see exactly what alarm has had what activity. Again, if you've had a bit of a drop back, if you had a site pull up, it will tell you everything you need to know actually on this. And the display itself, you can actually tweak further. You can change the brightness levels of it and you can actually change the backlight color as well. So you've got seven different backlights to choose from to see what, or to find whatever you find easier in the dark so it makes it nice and easy to read alongside this you've got different options so you can use sound vibration sound and vibration and then you've also got a mute button that will override everything so if it comes to a point where you want to start changing your rods if you want to rebate them something like that one simple button and then that will mute everything okay so the fifth and final point is going to be the price now these aren't the cheapest alarms However, they are one of the most feature packed that I think we've ever seen here at Carpology. So that's saying something with the amount of alarms that we actually get through. Now you can pick up the QI alarm heads for £225 per head, and you can pick up the hub receiver for £225 to £245. So like I say, they're not the cheapest, but they are packed full of features. And if you want to see the full feature list, then make sure you check out the Wolf website. Or if you pick up the latest Carpology magazine, then we've got a written review in there, which has got the full feature list. And I think, to be honest, there's about 40 odd different features. So I could list them all for you now, but I think you'd probably get bored and it would probably go on for hours if I actually go into detail about every single one of them. But like I say, make sure you check out the, check out the magazine if you want to see that full feature list. And if you have any, any other queries, then make sure you check out the Wolf website because you've got absolutely everything you need on there. If you like this sort of video, make sure you subscribe to us and hit the little bell icon as well. So that way you won't miss any videos. And then obviously like us on various other social media channels as well. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again soon.